due to glide bombs, Russia gains land in Ukraine. One critical factor in Russia's recent battlefield successes in Ukraine is its extensive use of glide bombs. Every week, hundreds of these large, deadly weapons rain down on Ukraine, creating 20-meter-wide craters and obliterating military positions and entire settlements. Russia has heavily relied on glide bombs in its new offensive on Kharkiv Oblast, clearing the way for ground troops. Since May the 10th, Russian forces have captured several villages near the border and entered the town of Vovchansk. Despite their simplicity and low cost, glide bombs have become one of Russia's most effective weapons during the full-scale war, previously contributing to the fall of the strategic city of Avdiivka in February, Russia's first major gain in nine months. Experts warn that these bombs could pose an even greater threat to Ukraine, which currently has little defense against them, as Russia is expected to continue its mass deployment of glide bombs to support further offensive operations. A glide bomb is a standard air-dropped bomb modified to be launched from a distance rather than directly over the target. Converting a dumb bomb, an unguided one, into a smart one costs just around $20,000, making it a much cheaper alternative to cruise and ballistic missiles that cost millions of dollars to produce. The range of these weapons greatly varies based on their weight, the altitude and speed of the releasing aircraft, but is generally considered not to exceed 50 to 60 kilometers, according to Federico Borsari, Leonard Fellow with the Transatlantic Defense and Security Program at the Center for European Policy Analysis. This range allows Russian jets to stay out of reach of those Ukrainian air defense systems typically deployed near the front lines. Russian glide bombs can be extremely heavy. The most powerful glide bomb currently used against Ukraine weighs around 1.5 tons, nicknamed the Building Destroyer by Russian military bloggers. Moscow has also announced the production of new glide bombs such as the 3.4-ton Fab 3000 and the Drell, which contains cluster munitions. Russian forces began using glide bombs against Ukraine early last year to compensate for the lack of precision-guided munitions. Короче, не кончается уже больше 80 штук. И вот это вот все летит, вот эта вся нечисть летит в сторону элеватора, в сторону порта, короче, побережья туда. На терминалы гахают там, блядь, и ПВО работает. Короче, жесть, вот они подряд идут, суки. Просто, просто мрак какой-то, вот он, козел. И он следом еще один, три подряд. Вот они летят, они не переставая, рой летит и все. Вот за минувшие минут 15 уже штук 20 пролетело. Это просто мрак какой-то. ПО работает. Короче, можно сказать, не работает от слова совсем. Блять! Все, пиздец. Машины там стоят. Он, он вот прям сюда вот ебал, вот в эту. Поехали на Ебаные. 